Right now, police in Indianapolis are investigating at least five shootings that happened just today. We know one person was killed and five others were hurt. IMPD confirming in just the last couple of hours that there was an arrest made in connection to one of those cases, a shooting on the northwest side near 40, thir rather 34th and High School Road. Now that shooting happened just before noon. The first happened around 1.30 this morning on the southwest side, the most recent, came 12 hours later. In total, there have been 221 homicides so far this year, which is below the 263 reported at the end of last year. But still, city and community leaders are left to find ways to keep those numbers trending in the right direction. Our Rachel Cross talked to one woman who says early intervention is key. Shauna Majors with the Brightwood Community Center says this violent streak is heartbreaking, tearing apart children and families. But she says working to stop the violence starts with working with the entire family, ensuring that they all have the tools they need, not just to survive, but to thrive. Another violent weekend in Indy left IMPD responding to more than a dozen non-fatal shootings. And today alone, another five shootings, including one that left one man dead and a woman critically injured. It's been heartbreaking for years now, right? This isn't a new phenomenon. I know that, you know, according to data that we, we've reduced a bit, but it still feels like a lot's going on, right? And it's still producing um, risk and um, barriers to really helping people. Shauna Majors is the executive director of the Brightwood Community Center, offering everything from healing circles to food pantries and summer camps for kids. Important work that starts with building trust. I think it's about awareness, raising that awareness that these things exist. And then the other part is building rapport with the family and the community to know that these aren't services that are there to count your wrongdoings. They're there to support you. This year alone, Major says they've served more than 5,400 people, focusing on holistic community services, and not just for kids, but everyone in the family. So if we can grab the whole family, I think that that increases the chances of cutting down on some of the violence. By offering people in the community a safe space and by helping ensure they have the tools they need to thrive, she believes the work they and other community advocates are doing will help reduce the problems indie families are facing, especially with gun violence. Sometimes people get frustrated or they're willing to give up because it's not working. They don't see it working. And I think that those families where there has been a change in their kids or their dynamic has switched will tell you that it does work. And you just have to understand we can't hit everybody all at the same time. It's, it's piece by piece and bit by bit. And slowly removing those barriers for kids, for families. Major says they can help curb Indy's violent streak for good. Major says she sees their community center as a village offering what they can to help the community improve. And she says she hopes to see other agencies, other parts of the city that work with families, take on that same mindset in supporting families through service to help them lift one another up. Felicia.